Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Somshekar and back with the fault confinement states of a CAN protocol. As you all know in previous video, I mean in part 27 video, we have discussed about what is fault confinement, why do we need it, the objectives of the fault confinement and the error counters, transmit error counter and the receive error counter. Now we will be discussing fault confinement states of a CAN. As I already said in my part 27 video, there are three states in a fault confinement. The first one is error active and a second one is error passive and the last one is bus off. N now v you can see in this slide in which condition, I mean when depending on the transmit and receive error counter how CAN node will be deciding its states by itself as you can see in this year in this slide as I already said there are three states possible for any CAN node depending on the transmit error counter and receive error counter the state of a CAN node will be decided in CAN network error active and error passive now Now we will discuss what are these. To start with error active state, when CAN node will be in error active state? Here the question is how CAN node decides, as I already said, it decides based on TEC and REC, error counter values. So as you can see in this picture, if the transmit error count and receive error counter values are less than or equal to 127 means the CAN node is in error active state and this node can normally take part in bus communication and sends an active error flag when an error has been detected the same you can see in this picture it sends an active error frame when it detects an error now the second state of a CAN node is error passive suppose the transmit and receive error counter values are greater than 127 as you can see in this slide the CAN node will be in error passive state an error passive unit must send an must not send an active error frame means it's not allowed to send active error frames over the CAN network when it detects an error in a frame. So what it will do? It will send the passive error frame instead of active error frame it is going to send passive error frame over the network. The same you can see sends a passive error frame over the CAN network. Now coming to the last state of a CAN that is bus off here don't get confused with the bus off I mean shorting of can I and can low and that is different and this one is different this is just the state of a node not the real bus off means shorting the cable uh, this is not we are not shorting any cables here so when the can node will be in bus off state here you can see when the transmit error counter value is greater than 255 in that time the CAN node will be in bus off state you can see the same here and you may ask why not receive error counter for this the same we are going to discuss in our upcoming videos when we are discussing the rules we have some rules for uh, uh, transmit error counter and receive error counter incrementing uh, for increment and decrement when we are discussing those rules we will be discussing what is the reason behind and what are the exceptions to consider only TEC for bus of state and you can see this bus of can be so uh, I'm sorry uh, in bus of state the node is not able to transmit and receive 
any messages in a CAN network. So this can be recovered after reinitialization. You can see in this video. I hope everybody understood the fault confinement states of a CAN node, any CAN node in a CAN network now. For queries, please leave comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel Secrets of Automotive Industry and hit thumbs up. Thank you all.